In this video, we're gonna be talking about how much you should actually be paying Instagram influencers. This is a question a lot of you guys are having. I'm starting to get it a lot. I haven't directly covered it in a video for itself. I know I've kind of hinted at what I pay and typically the range. We're gonna break everything down in this video and what I think about that subject. We got my little guy Rocket here to help us out with the video. What's up, dude? Look at this guy. But I'm gonna be breaking this down for you guys step by step. We're gonna jump inside of my computer, maybe pull out the whiteboard. I don't know, I can't find it right now. But before we do that, if you guys haven't already, be sure to join the Facebook group. I think it's been up for two or three days and it's already hit 500 members. It's insane. People are throwing around value left and right, asking questions, getting answers. So if you have any questions or just wanna interact with people who are kinda of in the same field, on the same journey and trying to learn the same thing, be sure to jump in there. I'm gonna leave it as a top link in the description. And of course, if you haven't joined the family yet, be sure to hit that nice link and subscribe button down below and drop a like on the video if you enjoy. But let's jump into my computer. Okay, so now that we're inside of here, I've outlined kind of all the basic prices uh, based on the actual amount of followers they have. Now, I do wanna outline something real fast that I haven't written down yet, and that is, this is based off engagement, okay? All of, which I can't spell at all, I'm doing too much work. But, if a page doesn't have good engagement, I'm not gonna run it on, okay? And what I mean by that, we've talked about this in other videos, is 1% and lower is a no-go. I don't touch a page that has lower than 1%, and. To determine this, we've talked about it. Let me actually show you really fast. We use the website flanks.com. You simply enter the username for the Instagram account that you wanna look. Uh, on the website, it actually has a ton of different stuff you can buy, I don't mess with any of that. If you just click platform in the upper right, you can hit engagement calculator. Simply enter the username of the page. Um, let me try and give you an example here. I'll show you how, how it works. It's super simple, let's just go with my page. It's gonna pull up, show you the followers and the engagement rate on average. Because yes, you can get a good sense by actually going through and looking at it on their page. But um, when you actually enter it, you know, it shows you the overall average, which is huge. So as you can see, of course, I'm a freaking boss when it comes to social media. So 22%, uh, that's insane. So I usually look for influencer pages. Let me outline this for you. Um, I'm typically trying to go for pages between 2.5 and 5%. That seems to be a good range. That's typically the range that most of these pages fall in. Um, and it really just depends. The smaller the page, typically the higher the engagement rate they're gonna have. So in the rare exception, you could find one with like three to 500K followers with like above 5% engagement. I would definitely test it out. Do make sure this kind of plays in the engagement part that it's organic comments. So how you find this out is go through their comments and if it's a ton of similar pages, like let's say they're a, a football page, and there's a ton of other sports pages and stuff around a similar following size, that means they're in a lot of engagement groups, okay? And you don't want that. And the reason for that is because then it's not actual people commenting who you know are potential customers and have the potential and are qualified to buy. So you wanna look for what I call legitness or whatever, make sure the page is solid, just filter through by engagement, take a quick peek at their comments, nothing too complicated. But now, when it comes to the actual engagement, okay, I've outlined this here. 50,000 followers and less, I'm really not gonna spend more than $10. Uh, and I, actually, I do want to mention this very fast. These are all for story, post, and link in bio. Okay, I like to do all three. It just works better for me. I reach a lot more people. Let's say, uh, let's say an Instagram picture is going to reach a thousand people, but a story might reach three to five thousand, and that thousand that view the picture but not the story, it doesn't necessarily overlap. So you might be reaching a completely new three to five thousand people and thousand people. It's just the way that Instagram's algorithm works. The people who actually see the post might not see the story or vice versa. So that's why I like to do all three. It's kind of the best way. And uh, we'll talk about negotiation here after this. But this is basic pricing, you guys. If you want to screenshot it, go over this. I just threw it together. I don't have something on my wall like all these other YouTubers pretend to do. Nobody does. You don't really need it. It's just kind of, I like to play it by ear. And once you get experience, you're going to kind of understand the pricing yourself. So this is typically what I'll pay. You don't really need to pay 10 bucks or more for a, for a smaller page like this, just because the audience isn't really there. It's not fully developed yet. And stepping up a level, this is kind of where you can really get started. I don't like to do anything below 50,000, but 50,000 to 150,000, I usually end up paying 10 to 20 bucks, 25 on the rare side, it just depends. The only instance, and like what I mean by rare side is when it has super, super good engagement, maybe some, maybe it's in a crazy niche that usually costs more, I don't know. It's just a rare exception, 10 to 20 bucks, we could actually change it. 10 to 20 seems to be the range for that. Um, you guys will be really curious when we start talking about negotiation here in a second on how I actually get these prices. But so 150 to 300K, this is the range I'm usually advertising in. I stick very, very close to like 200 to 250,000 followers. Again, that's just gonna reflect on your niche. In my niche, a lot of the pages that I'm advertising on are that size that have good engagement. So that's what I'm testing out. And I usually pay anywhere from like 20 to 40 bucks. It's, yeah, it's, it's very rarely over that. It just, again, it's rare instances. None of this is an exact number. You know, if, if an influencer is trying to charge you $43 and they fall inside of this range, you could still do it, it just depends. That's your call, okay? If you think it's worth it and has the potential to make you that money back and profit, go for it. Now that's just kind of the range I play. And then three to 500,000, I definitely, 
We'll talk about this here in a second once we get to 500K and up, but you move up the ranks. So you start here, start advertising and get results. But the 300 to 500K, usually you're paying 40 to 70, it just depends, 60. The only instance, again, that I would pay more than 60 bucks for that or somewhere around there is if it was a crazy page, difficult niche where there's not a lot of people running shout outs. Maybe they were super good with their negotiation, stubborn, whatever. I'm gonna try and negotiate my best, which again, we're gonna talk about here in a second, but you know, maybe 70 bucks, it really just depends. And then going up beyond that, okay? I see a lot of people starting out, maybe they have a couple hundred bucks to work with. They're like, let me advertise on the page with 1 million, spend half my ad budget up front. Don't do that. The only way that you should actually advertise on a million follower page or whatever right up front is if you have a crazy big budget, you're already experienced and you have a lot of other stores and you know what you're doing. Okay, it just doesn't really make sense. You should be leveling up, start small. As you continue moving up the ranks, spending more, making more back, starting to get profitable, and all of these have proven to be effective, then you go above 500,000. That's typically the rule I play by. If something in it, let's say I start a new store, right? This has happened. Start a new store in a new niche and I'm running through all of these and they're not really that effective, I'm not seeing great results, I'm not gonna go on a bigger page because it's gonna cost me more, so I'll potentially lose more. I'm not a big risk taker. You might be, that's great, that's up to you. My risk tolerance uh, for shout outs specifically is usually like 30 to 40 bucks, that's just me. So when it comes to this, this is kind of the outline I'm following, this is something kind of simple. I literally threw this together in a few minutes. This is the, the actual strategy I'm using. It's not that complicated. A lot of you guys kind of position influencer price and it's like, oh, what do I pay him? It's some crazy thing. It's really not. It just depends. If you understand the market and for your niche, what people are charging, then that's your leverage point and you can use that in your negotiation. So let's talk about that for a second because that is super, wow, how am I spelling everything wrong? <laughs> but so you can, uh, or you definitely want to be using negotiation in this, right? You don't want to be spending as much money as possible. And I'm going to tell you two ways that I negotiate that are super effective and they help with my risk tolerance. You know, I just said uh, usually 30 to 40 bucks is what I spend. I can usually get that lower simply because of this factor, okay? Okay, I call it the push-pull. I just coined it, that's what I like to call it, whatever. What I'm gonna do, let's say an influencer charges 30 bucks for a shout out, right? Okay, fair price, it's a good page. But I'm gonna tell them, look, we're just looking to build another list of influencers that we wanna work with long term for one of our new stores. We usually pay 15 bucks, okay, half their price for this shout out on a page of your size and engagement. Okay, so you just undercut their price by half, but that's not what you're offering. Here, here's how I play it. We can offer you 25 for this if we get a regular post, a story post, and a link in bio. So what you did there is you threw off the balance. Now they perceive, wait a minute, other pages my size in this niche are giving them shout outs for 15 bucks? All right, I guess if I wanna work with them, I'm gonna have to lower my price. And what you did there is you barely undercut them. You're right, they're charging 30, you offered 25. You undercut them by five bucks, but got all three. That's the goal, I love doing it. Like we just talked about up top story, a post, and a link in bio. I love doing all three, it works, that's super effective, and that gives you the biggest or highest chance of success with a shout out. It's a game of probability. You wanna increase your odds going into this so you have the most potential chances or whatever to win, in this case to make money or have it at least be break even. So look, you guys, that's kind of the basic outline I'm following. Yes, there's gonna be influencers who just throw ridiculous prices at you. They're like, oh, you know, we have 18,000 followers, so it's worth $2,000, you know. People do say crazy shit and you just move on. That's why you need to understand sales, right? I love sales and how this applies to every single principle is you need a full pipeline. You need a full pipeline of influencers that you're working with or are gonna be talking to and you wanna work with so that that way if someone's charging you a ridiculous price, you can just move right past them. Because the problem becomes, let's say you only have one or two people inside of your pipeline and they're not giving you the best deal, you're kinda of forced to go with them or not do it because you have no other people to talk to and potentially do a shout out with. So yes, there's definitely a lot that goes into this. There's a lot of moving parts. It's not terribly hard, but you know, it's simple. If you understand the concepts and everything lines up, you just have to know exactly what you're doing. We cover all this inside of the course. I go way more in depth on all this stuff and all the videos. If you wanna get in there, you can go right ahead and do that. It's cheap, I'll probably leave the link down below. It is an evergreen course, so it's not completely done and it will never be done. Hence what an evergreen course is. There's always content being added. I'm working on a massive Facebook section. I'm bringing in two other dropshippers into the course. And once all that content's in there within the next few weeks, that's when the price is really gonna be going up. So if you wanna get in there for cheap now and have full access to that as we start dropping it, you can go right ahead and do that. But definitely jump inside of that Facebook group if you guys haven't already, I'm gonna leave that link below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Drop a like to show me that you did enjoy it. It's been crazy. I mean, I had one video with like 250 likes and one dislike. So you guys are crushing that. I really appreciate the support on every single video. It's pushing me to do these every single day. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm gonna keep doing them every single day. So I guess I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.